Hello, students, and welcome to the Terabyte Series Past Questions and Answers Elective ICT Practical Review Session. My name is Sebru, and on today's episode, we will be solving a question from the year 2016 private candidate exam, question number two. But before we jump into our question for today, I'd like to once again introduce you to our YouTube channel, to our YouTube channel, Terabyte Publications, Terabyte Publications. Here you would have access to several other tutorials that we'll be creating just to help you succeed in your exams with time. So please subscribe to the channel and then you can scroll down and access all the questions that have been uploaded. In case you lose your CD or you find that a particular past question is not part of the videos on your CD, just come to our YouTube channel and we have you sorted. Let's jump into today's question, shall we? So basically our question is a spreadsheet related question. 2016 paper, private candidate, question number two. It says use a spreadsheet to produce the mark sheet below. Use Times New Roman and font size 12 points for the text, right? Use the header tool to type your name in uppercase and left aligned. C, calculate the total marks for each student, II average mark for each student. D, save workbook as mark sheet in the folder created. E, sort the names of students in alphabetical order, ensuring that each student retains his or her mark. F, save the workbook as students in the folder created. G, Determine the order of merit of the class and H, save as order of merit in the folder created. Fantastic. That, that's a full question, right? We're going to jump right to solving it by first splitting our screen, our question on the left hand side as usual. And we are going to call up our spreadsheet application, right? So, what does the question say? Use an spreadsheet program to produce the mark sheet below. Use Times New. Times New Roman and font size 12. So let's quickly change that. So we have Times New Roman and then font size 12, fantastic. Right, so we can go ahead and start creating our table as we see here. So we're going to have S forward slash and O. And by simple inspection, you notice that everything's aligned to the left. Right, everything's aligned to the left. So you can leave them at default name, anatomy. You can increase the column width to make sure that it accepts all the inputs that you put in there. So we have computer, we have psychology, we have practice, we have total, we have average. Awesome. Now we can see that the numbers that we are given are in the format of 001002003004005006. The question didn't specify that we need to keep our numbers in that format. By default, when you enter 001, what happens is that it's going to be changed to one. But if we want to maintain the format that we have been given the question, we can do that by using the numbers category of our home tab by basically selecting. So we can select our entries, come to numbers, come to general, come down to more number formats, click on it, come to custom. And then what we want to do is that we want to create a new type of entry. So our numbers are preceded with a zero followed by a number. So we're going to have zero, zero, and then hash represents number. So zero, zero, hash. That's the format in which we want our numbers to appear. 
So we'll go ahead and click on OK, and it's done. So now if we enter 001 and we move down, it is retained at 001. 002, retained at 002, 003, same. 004, same. 005, same. 006, fantastic. All right, so you can simply at this point pause the video and then go ahead and fill your table with all the required information. Once you're done, you can hit play again and then we continue the video. I am personally going to pause the video and skip to a session where I've entered the information so that our video is not too long. So you can simply do that along with me. All right, so let's jump right into the solution. Okay, welcome back. So our table is now complete with all the information that we need. We have the names here. We have anatomy field, we have computer field, we have psychology field, and we have practice field. Then we have two more columns, total and average. And you can see that I've created order of merit too, but that would come back later. So let me just clear it for now. Question B says, use the header tool to type your name in uppercase and left aligned. Use the header tool to type your name in uppercase and left so there are a number of ways that we can what insert um, our names into the header. So you can come to the bottom part of your screen and simply use this button here, the page layout button. And then you can simply add your what, your name. Said so it should be left aligned, so say brew. We are done. Or you can go to view and then select on page layout. It will bring you to the same place. Or you can go to insert, come under the text category and select header and footer. It will bring you to the same place, right? So your name in uppercase and left aligned. So we chose our left part of the header, right? So we can switch back. Now that we are done, we can just switch back to our default layout. So that solves it for the B part of the question. C says calculate the total marks for each student. And then CII says the average mark for each student. So to calculate a total mark for each student, there are several ways we can go about this. We can do equal to anatomy, which is C2, plus computer, which is D2, plus psychology, which is E2, plus practice, which is F2. And that will give us our total. We can also decide to use a function. So the function sum, open bracket, select all the cells that we are going to need, bracket close, hit enter, and we have the same value. Right. Now we can go ahead and autofill our formula into the rest of the cells below. And there you have it. All our totals have been provided for us. If you go ahead and click any of the cells, you're going to see that the formula is there. Fantastic. We can do the same for the average. Now the average, the function is average. So as you can see it here. Then the average of these scores. So also anatomy, computer, psychology, and practice. That's C2 to F2. Close bracket, hit enter, and we have 69.5. We can go ahead and autofill this formula by just highlighting on the autofill button and then dragging this thing down. Go ahead and drag it down. Fantastic. And we are basically done with question C, I and I, I. D says save the workbook as mark sheet in the folder created. This folder created is the folder that has our name and our index number. Mine is here. Say brew 101123223 is on my desktop. I'll just go ahead and save this as mark sheet. So, okay, mark sheet. 
and then click on save. Fantastic. Right. So the question then says that E, sort the names of the students in alphabetical order, ensuring that each student retains his or her mark. So I come to the names column. That's column B. I'm going to basically select the names. And then I can right click and come to sort. And then choose the question says alphabetical order. So that means from A to Z. As soon as I click that, it says, do you want to perform the selection, sort this data by expanding the selection or simply using the current selection? Now, the question says that ensuring that each student retains a mark. And to do that, you have to expand the selection to include all the adjacent cells. So go ahead and click on sort. So as you can see, our names are now Abella Simon, right? And then the marks have been realigned to fit the individual names that we put there. So we had some Sylvia at number one. She's now at number at A7. We had her at A2. She's now at A7. And then we had Abela Simon at A3. At B3, he's now at, at B2. It's that okay. Right. So we are basically done with that. And the question says we should save that particular outcome as students in the folder creator. So we're going to go ahead and save this as students. Because the results, the outcome of our first activity has been changed, the rim has been changed. So we are saving this under exercise, right? Then it goes, I'd say, determine the order of merit. That's question number G, determine the order of merit for the class, right? So to do that, I'm going to use Order of merit. We're going to use a function called rank, right? And it's going to be on the totals. It's going to be depending on the total. So you're going to have equal to rank into bracket. This is our first cell that we'll be using for our computation. So we have G2 being compared to the entire range. That's all the students in the class. So you're going to have G2 to G7. Fantastic. Right. Now, let me show you something. Okay, that's true. So, our formula is rank G2, comma, then into bracket the range G2 to G7. Now, if I go ahead and I autofill this function, this formula, I'm going to have a problem. As you can see, uh, I have a number of people who are first and number of people who are third. And the reason that's happened is because the formula, when I autofilled it, began to change the range. At each point, the range changed, right? And that is because I didn't make the range an absolute value. So, to do that, I'm going to put dollar signs in front of all the, and I'm going to do the autofill again so that our range doesn't change. Fantastic. Because you are basically comparing each cell over here, right, by other cells in the same range. If you do not use the absolute um, values, what you're going to have is, after each cell is done, um, the autofill function is going to skip that cell and only deal with the rest. So you're not going to have appropriate values. So that's basically it. If you want to use the autofill, you can, if you don't use autofill, you can go ahead and type out each of the, of the formulas without the absolute values, but making sure that the range remains the same. I hope that is clear. Okay, so that is our order of merit. And it says save order of merit in the folder created. So we're going to go ahead and save this as order underscore of underscore merit. So currently we have three files in our folder. We will have three files in our P 
beautiful folder. We will have, in basically I read this by date, we will have mark sheet. This is our mark sheet, which has just the total and the average with some Sylvia still at the first. Then we have our students, which has them arranged in sorted in ascendant order. Then finally, we have their order of merit. That's it. Fantastic. So basically, at this point, you are done with your solution. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sebru. Catch you on the next episode. Cheers, guys.